assembly election in uh, last monday we had a meeting at the cac level to discuss the upcoming election and uh, in the last week also we have gathered all the leaders in our district level and after thorough study of uh, the strength of the party at the, the grassroots level on the on the monday cc meeting we have decided that the party will not be fielding any candidates in the upcoming elections and uh, we have also decided that we will concentrate our strength our time in strengthening the party once again and we'll uh, prepare ourselves for the upcoming mdc election and uh, in the while discussing the whether we should give ticket or not to the nine uh, aspirants who have uh, applied ticket from the party we have done uh, we have done some studies and all and uh, after careful verification we have found out that uh, it will not be wise because to feel a candidate just for the name sake i don't think uh, it's an ideology of the party and uh, at the end of the day we know our strength and uh, i don't think it's uh, we should be ashamed of uh, telling that the party is in a very weak con uh, condition and our objective right now is to strengthen the to strengthen the party and will uh, so that we can participate in the other elections uh, that will be coming can we say that the <coughs> the decision of the uh, mla from nam by adalbert mangum uh, his decision to join other political party has uh, affect the nam no in a democracy like uh, there is a incoming and outgoing of candidates of uh, mlas and uh, the decision that we have taken has nothing to do with that the decision is solely based on the fact that the party need to be strengthened first that is the main objective in the cc taking such a decision will you, uh, be, will you be supporting any parties individual candidates uh we have been analyzing a lot because as a party uh, we have our role in uh, democracy but uh, after analyzing all aspect of other political parties uh, we have decided to not to support any political party and we'll spend all our time and energy in strengthening the party the the reason in uh, taking such a decision is that uh, at the end the last 5 years has been a worst governing period in the state of meghalaya and every citizen of the state knows that we have had lots of uh, trouble that the, as a state we have faced and i think after the uh, second of march it will be again a coalition government so the fact is just like now since the election is there all the political party are having their own propaganda own agendas own manifesto but after after the election after the declaration of result sometime we see that all this uh, pre election promises agendas take a back seat and self uh, benefits the th the thirst for power take a front seat which is a very sad state and uh, if we really would have seen one single party especially the regional party who would have maybe the chance of winning at least 25 30 seat we would have but as of now the situation of the regional party also it's uh, in a very very bad shape So that's why the party has decided not to uh, support any political party.